Welcome to the Sertara Drug Interaction Solutions video presenting the Clinical Organ Impairment Dataset in the Drug Interactions Database, or DIDB. The Clinical Organ Impairment Dataset contains study results from renal and hepatic impairment studies. This also includes studies where the organ function deviates above what is considered normal, such as augmented renal clearance. Let's look at the drug bazidoxifene, which is a selective estrogen receptor modulator indicated for the treatment of moderate to severe vasomotor symptoms associated with menopause and the prevention of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. If you have the citation accession number of the study you want to find, you can search for it in the search bar, which appears at the top of the page when you click the search icon. Once you're on the citation page for this study, the hyperlinks on top will take you directly to the source web pages for this citation. For NDAs or BLAs, a direct link to the FDA approval documents will be available here. A single click on the plus sign will expand the tree view one step at a time. In this citation, bazidoxifene PK was evaluated in four different cohorts, categorized by the presence of hepatic impairment and their respective degrees of severity. Double-clicking on the plus sign expands all data under this cohort. For each organ impairment study, the cohort with a normal organ function is designated as a control group. The details of drug administration, PK parameters, pharmacodynamics, and side effects are curated and displayed here. Let's compare this with severe hepatic impairment. You can see here that bazidoxifene's overall disposition is greatly increased versus controls, as shown by the percent change in AUC highlighted in green. The percent change in exposure illustrated by the change in AUC, clearance, and plasma concentration are calculated by the editorial team as common metrics that allow for comparison across multiple compounds in the DIDB. In our example, bazidoxifene AUC increased by 327.3% in subjects with severe hepatic impairment relative to subjects with normal hepatic function. If you want to find out what other drugs have an exposure increase of at least twofold in this patient category, this can be done under hepatic and renal impairment queries. Click on queries from the top menu and then click on hepatic and renal impairment. Once you're in, select percent change in AUC or clearance or renal clearance with hepatic or renal impairment, and then select the appropriate tab specific to what you're looking for. In our case, find objects with hepatic impairment, providing percent change in AUC with associated pathologies, severe hepatic impairment, where value is greater than or equal to then type 100%, which corresponds to twofold. Use the toggle option to include or exclude simulated data. Click Submit. This opens a new page with the results presented by default in a table view. All drugs are ordered alphabetically, starting with the enantiomers, if any. You can customize this table according to your preference. A detailed video tutorial is available by clicking on the Learn More About Our Table Features button. For example, you can search or filter individual columns, or reorder columns by dragging and dropping the column headers, hide columns you don't need, sort data based on percent change in AUC, showing the most impacted drugs on top or vice versa. Finally, you can copy your customized table to the clipboard, download it as an Excel or CSV file, or print it. You can also view the results in a tree view. Just go to the top and click the tree tab. Here the results are organized alphabetically as well. To expand all results, double click here next to the word results on top. This will allow you to view all the AUC increases for each drug in severe hepatic impairment. And that concludes this video on the clinical organ impairment dataset. I invite you to check out our other video tutorials, which provide an in-depth look into the contents and functionalities of the DIDB. If you have any questions, just go to our website, druginteractionsolutions.org, and click Contact Us from the top menu or on the right-hand side of the screen. Thank you for your time.